Hello! Welcome to LMC and Knowledge, Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. Remember to live in faith and you will find your way through Yahweh, okay? Okay, so before we get into this message, I'll use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. Okay, so the message of today is worldwide success is in your future, okay? You are the prize, okay? You are the prize in their eyes. And when I say there, I mean the community, wherever you're exposing your gifts, your talents, your creations, wherever you are, you're some somebody stepping out of their comfort zone and it's going to shock a lot of people because you're more, I'm saying like you like to be alone or you like to be in hermit mode or you're okay with being in solitude. You're not that show off type of person. You're not like, um, look at me, look at me type of person. But it's like when you show you, when you showcase your gift, your talent, it really leaves people like astonished. Literally. They're just like, I didn't know she had all that up, they, up her sleeve. I didn't know he had that many hats. Like I'm just hearing many hats you got many gifts and talents that you are working on behind the scenes and you're about to just pop out and show them with this first card that we have is open up to your spiritual gifts remember that your true nature is spiritual not physical the angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth okay so it's like you are awakening to your your power your galactic power and people are going to literally be jaw dropped like just staring at you you may find people that are just staring at you a lot or because of the way you're dressed because of the way you walk or the your eye gaze or something like that it's like people are becoming more sensitive to your energy like your energy is something that can't be um it can't be denied but it can't be uh ignored it can't be like it's going to be felt you know regardless if they like it or not so it's not gonna be like it it's gonna be people love you or people don't love you okay it's not gonna be like uh i don't really know or i'm kind of questioning or i'm i'm in between no it's literally you gonna it's gonna be pick a side and they're gonna you gonna know what side people are on when it comes to you and your um what you have to bring to the world I'm shutting the door sorry but yeah it's like you are exposing the real you this year and that's causing a major shift in your journey um in your bloodline because i'm hearing like you you are really you broke free from the chains of um stagnation or this this chain of like you know like certain bloodlines or family family members they just never reach their full potential like they always have something holding them back or insecurities or just life or karmic cycles like you're breaking free from all of that to become the highest version of yourself people know you are going somewhere in this lifetime people know anything you set your mind to will be achieved people who see your value will cut off anyone or anything out of their lives to get to you people on all levels of success will want to bring offers to be a part of your journey and it's like people people will literally raise their vibration to get to your level and you will inspire people to raise their consciousness and operate from their higher selves you are literally here to bring joy to the ethers you you are like a stand-up guy or a very dependable woman and it's like the energy i get off of you is like the energy you put out to other people and what they take from it is if they can do it, I can do it type of thing. Like, <clears throat> you are just amazing. You're just 
you're literally sharpening your sword or something like that. Like, and like I said, uh, you don't really, with the show off part, I'm getting that again. You're not a show off. And it's like, you like to watch other people shine. Like, you're comfortable with other people, you know, exposing their gifts and be being their highest self. Like, you don't ever get intimidated or you don't ever feel belittled or you don't ever, ever feel like somebody's stealing your light because they're shining theirs, you know what I mean? Like, you're just like, people know you're going to manifest anything that you want in this lifetime. You're extremely grateful with what you have right now. Um, and whenever you get in that life mentality, you pay more attention to like what you do have and what um, what the, the, the divine, your spiritual team has been doing for you this whole time. So let's get some more cards. Okay. Let me show for the next deck. Spirit, what else do they need to hear? I love this message. Like... For real, for real. It's like I'm I'm getting I'm hearing Princess Diaries. Isn't that movie when she was like a nerd or something like that in school? And then like come to find out she was royalty. And then she had like an extreme makeover. That's what I'm hearing. An extreme makeover is happening in your life in all forms. And people are gonna <laughs> they're just gonna be like some people might think that you're faking it or this is just a phase or some this can't be real people don't feel like they in a dream or something like is this because they're like i swore you was just in your blanket cuddled up in a bed when i called you now you over here on a stage or now you over here in these uh corporations like big corporations business partners like you're just on this this jet this private jet you're just on it's just like you go from the bottom literally to the top like <laughs> it's crazy and then i split the deck and i get material harvest you've been planted some seeds you've already been watering your garden you've already this isn't somebody this is for people who've been working for years like this is for people who went through a lot a tough cycle in their life but they're coming out on top it's like you you tried to bury me and then i i rose up out of that like Literally, it's like you're, you're not backing down in this lifetime. That's what I see with the sword and triumph and success. It's like, I'm going to be number one. I'm going to win. Um, I'm putting myself first with the number one card. It's like you putting yourself first is literally going to get you recognized and rewarded because you're just showing how how important you are. You're showing the world how important you are by taking care of yourself and by literally going for what you want in this lifetime. And that's why you'll be recognized. It's not nothing of being selfish. You had to put people on hold, situations on hold, because you had to choose yourself, okay? And that's what I'm seeing. Do you have a team with number three, your spiritual team? I'm looking with this person. It's like head down. It's like they're being anointed. So, yeah, I think this is going to it's gonna be a part two to this one. This is a really good reading. Rejoice in celebration. People are going to be celebrating success with you. You will be celebrating celebrating success with some business partners or some, some multi-million dollar people with whatever you have to provide. Like, I'm not going to be super specific on what it is because I know this reading is for like thousands of people. So, um, you make it fit. Whatever you've been working on for years and years in solitude. You've been planning. You've been plotting. You've been journaling. You've been resting. You've been finding your... your your zen, like, you know, God, did, Yahweh did not want to put you out into the world moving so fast, living this fast lifestyle or just on this higher level without you being fully aware of your spiritual um, hygiene and just taking care of yourself. So you had to take care of your health, your um, all forms of health, you know, get things ordered and organized for this this ship to come in, this ship to sail. Like, you had to really... Know your voice, know your power, speak up for yourself. So you probably had to go through cycles where you had to learn how to use your voice, you know. Um, I'm hearing your throat chakra is very open right now um, to speak. You have a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of information to guide you or you're about to be getting downloads of wisdom and information to guide you onto your next um, adventures in this this year, in this lifetime. Um, I came out again with the triumph. It's just like, nothing can stop you. Like, I'm just seeing a finish line in first place. I'm just seeing like, it was never, 
I was never racing against anybody. As you see, it's just you. You were in your own lane, you know? And that's why you stood out. Because it's like so many people are trying to be in other people's lanes and do the same thing. Like, um, just for instance, like everybody got the same flow. Or everybody rocking the same wigs. Everybody rocking the same clothes. But you stepped out and you wore something different. And then it made you shine. And then it's like, okay, imagine <clears throat> you guys had to all, everybody had to be in this lane. Whatever industry, whatever you're doing, everybody had to be in a, this one specific lane, right? But everybody just running like a stampede. So imagine a stampede just going, going, going. You can't see everybody because everybody's just crowding over everybody. Everybody's trying to run faster than the other person. And then you're like, okay, I'm going to let everybody go ahead of me. I'm going to let everybody go, to go ahead of me. Because the people that are watching on the sidelines, which is the business, um companies these big energy it has said energies they are big energies these big name industries that are looking at the stampede but then you know like when i don't know if you guys know or have seen it but like when it's a stampede and then like that last that last animal like you see them galloping or whatever they're not fully with the stampede because they're ahead of them but it's like we pay attention to that last one that was just because it's all you hear is them coming by instead of that big herd of people. And it's just like, oh, they're looking like that's just too much chaos. That's too much going on. So you let everybody go first and then you went and then that's what got you your shine and your attention because they're like, wow, this person would, this person is patient. This person doesn't rush through things, you know, and this person's going to make it regardless because they're on their own time, right? They're, you're on your own timeline. So I'm hearing you're going to have a lot of discernment, especially like how we're from seven to seven right here, but spiritual number seven, um, with that being said, it's like, you can see the fakes. Like you, you had to wait a little bit longer because that discernment, the, the people who went ahead of you in that stampede, they got scammed. They got lied to, they got betrayed. They got, um, misused. Um, they got shelved. They got put to the side. But now you can see all of it. Even in the industry, big name um, industries, people, bosses and stuff, you can see the truth in them now. But because you took your time and you're full of this light, so you're going to shine your light everywhere you go and anything you do, you're going to see the truth through all of it, right? You're going to see everything instead of just only seeing pieces of things because you're with this huge stampede of people you can't see anything everybody's rushing but when you take the time you can see everything and that's when light comes but yeah that's what i have for you guys i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video peace